Hey guys, this is Pretty Actions here to show you a preview and tutorial on how to use the amazing Whimsical Fairyland collection. Um, this collection is pretty awesome, guys. Very versatile. It comes with fairy wings, uh, fairy dust, you have sun glows, sunbursts, and sun ray overlays. And we also have some firefly overlays in there as well and some other cool things. Let's just take a look at a few of the images that we've put together for you guys to preview. Aren't these just super sweet? So easy to do. I'm going to show you in this tutorial how we've created some of these looks. Look at that. That's just awesome. Okay, so let's go ahead and start with this image. I'm going to show you how to create this look from start to finish with the Fairyland collection. Um, keep in mind with the fairy dust, of course it may turn out a little bit different. You're never gonna get that exact same result, but um, we're going to go over how to achieve this look. Okay, are we ready guys? Bam, here we go. So this is actually the before and the after. Um, super fun to do. I have my Fairyland uh, action collection here in my actions panel. And uh, the first thing that I like to do if I'm adding uh, fairy wings, I usually like to do that first. So I'm going to click on my fairy wing applicator and press, well, actually, let me get rid. Let me just go ahead and flatten my layers real quick. And I actually have an action to do that in the um, collection. So that's pretty cool. I'll just push, press play. Um, okay, back to Fairy Wing Applicator. And we're going to read our handy dandy instructions. Remember to flatten your layers when you're done if you wish to run any additional actions or add ons. Okay. So I have my fairy wings here. Your, your window may not pop up to the fairy wings. You'll have to navigate to where you have them saved on the computer. Okay, so let me just scroll down and find the wings that I had. Okay, I'm gonna click on them and press place. Now here's where I can shift. Uh, you wanna press shift and click. The shift will keep the same proportion, otherwise your um, wings will get a little bit wonky. Okay, so important to shift click and resize. Now you can also hover over the corners and turn your wings. Um, now she's, her shoulder is kind of an, at an angle. So to make this look more realistic, I put the wing on the right side. Um, I made it smaller than the one on the left side, so. Uh, we're just doing the first wing right now. And I'm just going to play around a little bit. Okay, and I know that the this bottom part here, I'm going to have disappear behind her dress. Again, just to make it look more realistic, her wings aren't necessarily all going to be pushed forward in front of her. Okay, so I'm really liking this orientation. I'll be able to see some of the bottom wing here as well. You just make that a little bit smaller. Now, once you've decided you like where you positioned your wing, you can go ahead and press enter. Okay, bam, there we go, ta-da. Um, now you'll see that there's some extras on top here that will change the color of your wings. All you have to do is click on the little square next to the adjustment. So watch what happens here. Um, I can click warm wings. Now the change is ever so slight. If you click on, um, just because we don't want that to be overdone and unnatural, but depending on your image, you may want to bring that opacity up. Um, you'll just click on the layer itself. Notice how I clicked on warm wings and I can go up to the opacity here and just bring it up. Um, so you can kind of notice the difference when I go down to zero and bring it up to 100. Now, I didn't apply that to this particular image, but you can just go through and see um, all the, the subtle uh, colors that you're able to add. You can turn her wings green. I feel like that would kind of blend in too much with her little skirt that she's got going on there. So I'm gonna work uh, one wing at a time. 
uh, because you do have to flatten your image before adding another adjustment. So um, I still have a fairy dust brush selected. So I'm gonna open, make sure your brush is selected in your tools panel. Okay, and you can open your brush options. I'm just gonna get a soft white brush, just the regular brushes. Um, okay, let me just zoom in pretty close here. You're gonna get up close and personal with your images, adding the fairy wings. Okay, so to remove some of the fairy wings, remember how I said I had some of her wings just behind her dress? Well, to do that, you need to remove whatever part of the wing is overlapping with the dress or the skirt, okay? Really, really simple. Your fairy wing layer should be selected as it is. Notice it's highlighted. I'm just gonna click on the little rectangle. That's my layer mask, and this allows me to add or remove Part of this particular layer, which is the, the wing layer. Okay, when working with layer masks, just remember black conceals and white reveals. So right now the entire box is white. So the entire wing is being revealed. If we want to conceal it, guys, you got it. You want to bring black to the foreground color. So I just went down here, clicked on my little arrow. We're in the tools panel, guys. I'm gonna bring black to the foreground color. I still have my brush selected. I make it larger using my left and right bracket keys. I like to get super close when making these adjustments. No, I'm not gonna be super careful here, guys, just because I wanna give you the gist of how to do this. Um, but uh, notice I am brushing over the wing and it is disappearing. Pretty cool, huh? Now I'm gonna make a mistake on purpose. I just went over and brushed off part of the wing here that I did not want to remove. This is what's cool about layer masks. They are completely forgivable. I'm going to bring white to the foreground color because remember white reveals. Okay, so I'm just going to paint back over that and notice how it's been brought back to the image. So it's kind of like, I like to think of it as kind of a sculpture that you're just working on and working on and just uh, sculpting until it comes out just perfectly. Um, <laughs> so I mean, that, that works, right? Uh, but I'm just going to keep going here again. I'm not being super, super perfect just for time's sake. And I'm probably probably going to fast forward here in just a moment so I don't bore you guys to death. Um, but you get the gist. I'm removing the part of the wing that's overlapping with her skirt to look like it's realistic. And the wing is behind her skirt because I think it, you know, would be kind of unnatural if it was just sitting up there pushed to the front. Um, Another cool thing, if you're having a hard time seeing where the wing is or what part of it that you've removed, you can press the backslash key on your computer and you can see where you've painted and all the mistakes that you've made. <laughs> uh, so basically you can see how great or horrible of a job that you've done already. Um, don't be too hard on yourself though. This is really just to have fun and make a beautiful image. Um, so you press that same key, backslash key again, to make it go away. And I'm just gonna fast forward through here a little bit. Okay guys, here we go. So not super, super perfect, but I think it looks pretty good if I do say so myself. Um, <laughs> so we're just going to finish up with this wing and move on to wing number two. Um, and actually, I think we're, we're pretty much done. So I'm going to navigate back to my um, actions for the Fairyland collection. Select Flatten Layers. Okay, ta-da. Um, so we just have uh, the background layer here. Everything's been flattened. Let's go ahead and add wing number two. Press continue. Navigate to where you have that wing saint. Okay, so here's the thing. I'm obviously gonna have to flip this horizontal and then probably resize since it's hard to see when this is not um, the correct orientation. So I'm just gonna resize it to about or approximately where I think it's gonna be. Um, obviously, again, I need to flip it. So for now, I'm just gonna press enter. 
and let the action run. Okay, so now I'm going to navigate down to uh, flip overlay horizontal. Okay, press play. So just make sure you've selected your overlay. This is important. Okay, if you haven't, just press stop, select it, and then rerun the action. Now mine is selected, you can see because fairy wing layer is currently highlighted and it's got the little brackets around the layer box. So I'm going to press continue and bam. How easy was that? <laughs> okay, now after your action has played, absolutely, you can still move your wing around. Um, you just have to grab your move tool. Make sure there's a check mark in the show transform controls up here. Otherwise, you won't see these little um, dots going around uh, that allow you to resize. Okay, so I'm going to play around with this wing. Uh, I think I'm going to turn it just a little bit. Um, so, of course, this one, because her shoulder on, on this side, on our left or right, um, is pointed out more towards us, I feel like, obviously, I feel like this wing is going to naturally be bigger. So, um, and that's how we had made it in the preview that I just showed you a little bit earlier. Um, so I'm gonna keep this wing just slightly larger than the one on uh, the right. Okay, I think I'm really liking that. So since her, also I wanted to point out here, since her shoulder is pointed towards us, it does seem likely that we're going to see part of this wing just draped over um, the skirt. So I'm going to leave that as is. Uh, and I might, obviously I'm gonna erase some of the, the stick part of the wing here. Um, but other than that, I'm really liking the orientation of the wing. Okay, so I'm going to go for it and press enter. There we go. Um, let's select the layer mask and zoom in a little bit or a lot. <laughs> I'm going to select my brush. I still have that same soft brush selected. Black is my foreground color um, because, again, guys, black conceals. Conceal some of this. We've got some backlight going on, obviously, in this image, so I'm not going to have to be too careful where it's kind of uh, blown out around her hair a little bit here. Um, bear with me, guys. I may make a mistake, and of course, if I do, it's going to be super easy just to bring that wing back into the foreground. Um, Okay, so I, I want to remove, I'm just kind of thinking about the orientation of the, the wing. Uh, I picture it as coming in behind this little thing of berries right here. So I'm going to remove it from the berries. And you'll see what that looks like here in a moment. And if you're not sure, I, again, mistakes can easily be rectified when using layer masks. So just go for it. And if you don't like it, just paint back over it with white to reveal it again. Um, I feel like I'm still not zoomed in close enough. So, again, guys, I'm not being super perfect. I just want to show you, um, you know, what this collection can do and uh, how you can use it and how super fun it is to add to your images. Okay, so we'll just leave that as is. Let's take a good look at it. Okay, so I'm just going to select the move tool real quick here and just move it ever so slightly um, upward. Okay, I'm really liking that. So I'm just going to zoom in and make a few changes here and I'm just going to fast forward through this because I'm just, um, again, removing some of the wing from the, just from the berries up front here. Okay guys, I'm loving it. Check this out. How cool is that? Okay, so again, you can add some of your extras, add um, you know, some color to those wings or leave them as is. 
Let's go ahead and flatten. Okay, so what to add next? Um, I personally like to continue on with a sunray if you're going to add it. Of course, you don't have to. Um, so let's press continue. Of course, read the uh, instructions. And your folder will look slightly different than mine. I just have them kind of saved um, differently on my computer as we put this collection together. Um, okay, so let's pick a sun ray. You have your sun glows in an array of beautiful colors at the top. And check out all of these cool uh, sun rays that we've got here. I think I'm going to select Sunray 12 and press place. Okay. Um, so here's where you get to kind of move it around and place it within your image. Of course, the black is going to disappear once we've applied it and we can move it around a little bit. You do really want to find a good place for it because um, if you decide to blur this a little bit more, which I haven't done very often, but if you do, um, that blur image is going to overlap with where you place it at, from the start. So we do kind of want to place it where you think you'll leave it. Although you can move it later. Okay. <laughs> so enough talking for me. Let's go ahead and press enter. And we'll see how this works out. Ooh, how cool is that? Notice how I also, I just want to mention, I kind of squished it in. That's okay with uh, the sunray overlays. You don't necessarily have to keep the same orientation. Um, I wanted it to be kind of squishy <laughs> at the top here. I didn't want it to be, have that wide orientation. Um, now it's hard to see, but there are some hard lines here um, at the edges of the overlay. And I just want to remove that and make it very soft and uh, realistic. So. So I'm just going to select my brush tool and I still have that same soft white brush selected. I'm going to make my brush white large. Now let's bring our brush opacity um, down to about 54 and I'm just clicking on the sides here on the edge. Um, here I notice the line. I'm just going to drag this along the bottom. Oh. Notice anything on the left, but just for good measure, I'm just going to go ahead and brush along there. Okay, so before and after, we have this really cool, um, beautiful light shining in on her. So again, I can grab my move tool and kind of uh, readjust that, maybe bring it down a little bit. Um, I do like it like that. I'm going to press enter and click on my layer mask and remove some of that from her face because she is backlit. So that sun isn't supposed to be reaching the front of her face. Okay. Also consider when adding your sun rays, what direction the natural light is coming from. In this one, it's backlit. So the rays coming from the top and just removing it from the front of her absolutely works. Okay. I'm not really removing it from the wings because they just look bright and airy and whimsical. Um, so it totally works for the wings. Okay. Um, I'm loving it. Now, of course, I have some add-ons. I can make it brighter. I can blur. Um, if you moved your original sun ray since applying it, you'll have to click on your blur layer if you want to blur it and move that as well. Okay. I can make it warmer, cooler. I actually like it as is. So again, I'm going to flatten. Okay, and we're getting further along in this edit. Right now, we're ready to add, um, I was just going to say the fairy dust, but I want to show you something else. So really quick, uh, let's do the fairy light brush and find out what that is. I'm gonna press play, paint with a soft white brush. Um, sometimes if you use this later in your edit, it might look like it's not working. That's probably not the case. You probably just still have one of your fairy dust brushes selected. Um, so make sure you have the soft white brush. Okay. Um, white as your foreground color. I am obsessed, and all the preview images have this, um, just to give you a kind of overlook. Uh, but I'm obsessed with adding this kind of to the middle um, inside edge of the fairy wings. 
just to give them that lighter look. I feel like it looks more realistic and more magical. Um, I know I got some of that on her arms, so I'm going to bring black back to the foreground color and just make sure, oh, and my opacity is still at 54%, so that would account for some of that. Uh, I'm just going to bring that off her arm here. I, I really just wanted it to be on the center of the wings, and you can kind of see what look that's bringing to the image. Okay, so we're going to flatten again. And now we can add our fairy dust. Notice there's the fairy dust applicator and fairy dust add-ons. So we're going to run the applicator, read our handy dandy instructions, and press continue. Okay, um, so now, of course, I do have to pick my fairy brush. Um, and starting at these three little twinkling stars, now these are, um, the ones on the top are just stamps, so you'll click on it and just stamp that onto your image. Um, the ones uh, starting from here down are trailing fairy dust brushes. Um, to make fairy dust look realistic, I usually like to add more than one uh, brush just to kind of give it that cool whimsical feel. Some of them, you can lower the opacity. Um, we did that on a lot of the previews as well just to kind of give it that variation uh, and depth. So, hmm, what to do? Okay, let's just pick this one and see what that looks like real quick here. Um, ooh, that's so pretty. Look at that, guys. How cool is that? I just literally picked my brush and just trailed along. If you're like, yeah, I, I don't like that, just click Edit, Undo, and you can just keep going and. Um, really, the trick is just to do little swirlies here and there. Um, you know, I like to make it kind of look like it's coming out from the wings themselves. <laughs> um, you can lower the opacity a little bit here. Okay, um, really liking that. Here we go. Okay, so let's go ahead and add a, another one. Now you can keep it um, on the same layer or you can flatten and run a, another layer. But if you flatten, you're not going to be able to use your fairy dust add on. So we likely, we just want to kind of keep this on the same layer. And you can uh, readjust your opacity for your brushes as you go. So notice this is a trailing sparkle as well. Okay, I'm loving it. I'm just gonna come down from there. So it just she's kind of surrounded in this fairy dust looking so cute and whimsical. Um, okay, guys, we're done. How cool is that? Uh, let me show you what the fairy dust add-ons are. I'm just going to press play. Again, you do not want to flatten this layer if you're going to add the add-ons. Ta-da! Continue. Um, I can make that fairy dust warmer, cooler, deeper and richer. We've got all these colors. There's green. You can make them brighter. Too bright, too bright for this particular image. Um, but let's take a look at all my gazillion snapshots. I'm going to take another one here. Okay, um, this is before, and this is what we've just created together. Isn't that awesome? I mean, the, there's so many different options with the brushes, with the wings, with the sun rays that you can, and it's just endless. You can have fun for days, uh, just days on end, playing with this set and uh, different images and making completely different looks. Now we're gonna jump in and edit one more image together. Uh, let's just take a look here. We're going to play with uh, the, the little girl. I, I really like this one and it was fun to do. Um, so I'm just going to throw these extra layers in the trash. There we go. Oops. Let me just go back to my history um, and start from the beginning. Okay, so again, I'm going to start with my fairy wing applicator. I'm going to go through this edit faster since we kind of went through step-by-step step how to add everything. I just want you guys to 
get this down at this point if you're watching this video as a tutorial. Um, okay, so theory wings. I'm trying to decide which wing I used on this one. Aha, here it is. Okay, so I actually erased the bottom part of the wing with this one. Um, so I wanted to show you this just so you can see what you can do. Um, so these little wings down here at the bottom, I erased. You've got two different looks in one. <laughs> kind of cool, huh? Okay, so I'm just going to keep resizing until I feel like it's about the size that would work for her. Ooh, I like that. Get in a little bit. All right, I'm going to press enter and work on my layer mask because, of course, I have a bunch to erase here to make this look realistic. Um, because we're not going to have a wing with all of the wings hanging out in front of her, um, of course. So let's go ahead and select our brush. And um, I still have a sparkle brush selected. I want a soft white round brush. Um, and I'm just going to go in and erase all of this up front here. Makes my job super easy. <laughs> um, okay. super close. And you can see all these pretty little um, sparkles surrounding the wings. You can keep that there or uh, take it off. I'm taking this part off just because I'm removing that part of the wing, the wing as well. Okay, so I'm actually going to keep this in the foreground. Um, I'm not going to remove it from the dress because of the way she's sitting. I feel like the wing um, is sticking out from the back part of her dress there. Of course, I want to remove it from her ears and hair, ear and hair rather. Remove some of those sparkles. Okay, so notice these sparkles up top here around the wings. I'm definitely going to leave that. I love it. Okay, so let's go ahead and zoom back out here. Look at her pretty wings. I'm loving it. So again, we can add some add-ons here. Take a look at the colors, maybe add some purple. I really like them white. It kind of goes with the white flowers over here in the overall image. So we're going to flatten our layers. Let's go ahead and add a summary. Continue. Okay, so I want something that's coming in from the left side. Of course, we know already that you can change the orientation. I'm deciding between these two right here. Sunray 3 or 1. Which one will it be? We'll do 3. Nice. To look realistic, I, I just want it up in the corner here. Press enter. Oh, I'm loving it. Okay. Um, so I can still move it around a little bit. Now, of course, you can play with the opacity, too, if you feel like the, it's just a little bright for the image, because this isn't a, a really bright image at all. Um, you can play with that. So I'm just going to keep that right around 87%. We're going to leave that as is, and we're going to flatten again. Okay, so let's move on to our, um, actually, I'm going to do the fairy light brush. I keep forgetting about our super cool fairy light brush. I love it. And it, it just makes the wings, uh, it, it adds that extra touch that makes them look very realistic and cool. Okay. So before and after, I feel like it gives it a little bit more three dimension as well. Um, so don't forget to remove that from the arms or face if you've got any. There we go. Okay, flatten. And now we're going to add the fairy dust. Oops, I'm going to click stop because <laughs> I um, ran the fairy dust add-ons and we didn't even have any fairy dust on our image. Continue. Okay, so let's pick a fairy dust brush. 
Again, there's no method uh, or correct or wrong way to do this. You just kind of go around in little swirlies. My opacity is at 65. I didn't realize that. Um, okay, so I'm just going to go back. I wanted 100% opacity. There we go. I'm going to pick another one and just bring the opacity down just to give it a little bit more dimension. Ooh, how pretty is that? I love it. Okay, we're done, guys. Let's take a real quick look at a before and after. I'm going to take a snapshot. There we go. Before and after. Okay, one thing I was obviously rushing through this. One thing that you can tell I did not do is remove the hard edges from the sun ray overlay, but luckily we know how to do that. You just want to click on the layer mask. Um, now, of course, this is the fairy dust layer. I just want to point that out. But once you, when you do have the sun ray up, click on the layer mask, black uh, as the foreground color because black conceals, brush over it to remove that line and you'll be good to go. But other than that, <laughs> this image is looking pretty awesome. I hope you guys really enjoyed um, taking a quick look and preview of the Fairyland collection. And uh, we really hope that you guys love playing with this collection uh, just as much as we did making it for you guys. Okay, pretties, have fun.